Okay, I got seven minutes to get real with you. Um, <clears throat> first of all, let me tell you something. If these protesters in Washington are targeting Senator Hawley, Haley, whatever his name is, H-A-W-L-E-Y, Hawley, Hawley. It's Hawley. Yeah, if they're targeting his home and him, then that means they are not Trump supporters. I'm sick and tired of people always lumping everybody in that go to the BLM protests, go to the Antifa protests, and start their stupid nonsense. Those protesters that are targeting homes, breaking windows, acting a fool, those are not Trump supporters. Those are the same cowards that had to wait till BLM started protesting, till whoever started protesting. Then they want to go and turn it into a riot. So when it comes down to it, if the Capitol Police, if the National Guard do shoot them, I don't care. Good on them. And another thing, Washington, D.C. mayor, okay, because I, I know that somebody know her that listen to me. Check this out. You want to know why this shit is happening in your city and in cities across America? It's because y'all let those fools go. You do not prosecute them. You do not put them in jail. You do not do anything to them. You just say, oh, well, you know, they're allowed to protest. That's not protesting. Breaking windows, breaking things, picking up stuff. And my husband brought up a good point, and I just want to let all the protesters know this. All them cute little selfies that you took of you and you put up on your Instagrams and all the things that you touched in there, believe you me, FBI, NSA, all them people are getting fingerprints, are doing whatever. And by the way, to the person that broke into Nancy Nancy's laptop, it's a damn shame you didn't get her emails. Next time, if you go break into her laptop, her computer, don't sit there and look at her damn hair appointments. Don't nobody care. Everybody know that she break her own quarantine rules. I mean, for God's sakes, she broke quarantine rules for COVID positive people on Capitol Hill just so she could get her gavel. Again. Uh, again. So we already know rules for thee and not for me. I want to see. I, I want to see some emails. I want to see the dirt. Yeah, you know I mean, Our get in that folder that says election fraud. She, she ain't going to keep that shit out in the public. You know that. Yeah, but on her computer in Capitol Hill, she would. Encrypted, maybe. Doubt it. Nancy Pelosi don't know nothing about encryption. No, but she knows somebody who knows something. Her password Her password is probably uh, Speaker of the House God. Nice. Because that's just her ego. However, I would like to say to any of the House of Representatives, if you get sick with COVID or your family members get sick with COVID and either you die or they die from COVID, you should sue Nancy Pelosi's ass for allowing quarantine COVID positive representatives to come back and vote for her. My idea too, by the way. Yeah, that was his idea as well. See, I'll be stealing his shit. All the, I steal everybody's shit. I don't care. I, I do me. Hey, despite how much I hate politics, I come up with some good shit sometimes. I do say so myself. Look, when people say, you do you, boo-boo, I do me. Boo-boo. I thought I do you. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Here we go. Anyway, so th that's what the deal is. If you're looking at it and you see people attacking senators, attacking each other, stabbing each other, that ain't Trump supporters. Trump supporters ain't like that. Now, if you see somebody hit somebody and they bust their ass right back and start, you know, wailing on them, that'd be a Trump supporter. Because for the most part, Trump supporters are law-abiding citizens. When they go to protest, they go to peacefully protest, an actual peacefully protest, not with CNN standing in the front ground of a fire going, well, it's mostly peaceful. No. Trump supporters are peaceful. They follow the law. They follow the Constitution. They obey and abide. 
okay? Something these stupid, idiotic anarchists don't know. They just see, they see an opportunity. Ooh, a protest, let's turn it into a riot and loot and do this, do that. And, and we'll just take over the things because they're a bunch of cowards. They can't stand on their own. And yeah, I said it, Antifa come at me. I don't give a fuck. BLM come at me, real talk, right there. Get mad, cowards. Trump supporters were there to say that they did not agree, but they were fixing to allow the Constitution to run its course. You guys came in there and started the mess, so why don't you quit? At least have the balls to take credit for what you do. I mean, for God's sakes. Oh, Trump supporters are so riotous, and they're so bad, and they're so evil, and they're so mean, and stuff like that. I didn't see no meanness, no ugliness, no evilness from Trump supporters in Washington, and I watched it live. Hey, you know the difference between ISIS and Antifa? Uh, different countries? No. What? ISIS at least got the balls to fess up to what they've done. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. That, that burn. Ow. Wow, that hurt. That hurt. That really hurt. I'm going to have to take a minute for that. Anyway, so that that's all I'm saying. Is if you look at those people and they're targeting the senators that are objecting. And the re representatives that are objecting to the electoral votes. Then you know they're not Trump supporters. All right. And one little hint before I leave this, for all the politicians out there that are listening to me, or if somebody pass it, this along, the only way that you are going to put all this, sweep all this under the rug, is by putting Trump in there for four more years. And then you could start sweeping all that.